On the morning of the second day, we get an early start on a mission so that we can have some free time in the afternoon. Stop for a second. The bottom doesn't look level to me. Try lowering the right corner a bit. Like this. Hmm. It may be better to shave out the bottom instead. Move aside. That should do it. Try setting up the machine again. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to fix it in place. I spotted what looked like small particles on the west coast, so I went to have a closer look. I can confirm that they do have a close resemblance to gold particles. The plan is to search the island for the main stream which contains the mineral vein. Finding gold would be a spectacular find. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Once we're 100% certain, I'll report back. There are also a lot of remnants the previous inhabitants left behind. During our search, we saw structures that looked like docks. And we also found a few houses centered around them. Hmm. It might be a good idea to search those houses as well. I agree. There might be some records of some kind that could help us with our mission. If the people who resided there were mineral miners, then there's a possibility that we could pinpoint the mining points on this island. Agreed. Are you okay to do it alone? It's not too much. Well, first off, I'm not alone, but... If I need any help, I'll be sure to ask for it. Volt wags his tail frenetically and points at the map that Rappi is drawing. I think he's trying to point something out. Oh, baby, look at that. Even more of Rappi. I love it. He's certainly a go-getter. I like that. That he is. Hmm, do you think we can eat this? Only one way to find out. What are you guys doing? We're supposed to be conducting research, aren't we? Doesn't food count as a resource? Well, that may be true. But it's not smart to be putting raw foods in your mouth. We know what we're doing. In the old encyclopedias I read, they talk about how people back then would catch fish and eat it straight up. Apparently it was out of this world. Mm-hmm, sushi. It looks like this place is teeming with fish. So it might broaden our culinary horizons a little bit. Who knows, it could even be the key to solving the long-standing food shortage in York. You're quite a brainiac when it comes to food, apparently. Anyway, are you ready, Master? Ready when you are. Yuck. Oh dear, it looks like we've got our first two patients. What seems to be the issue? I think we might have food poisoning. In the cart beside me, Neon is vomiting profusely. I think the fish are to blame. You really shouldn't be eating things indiscriminately in unfamiliar surroundings. First, let me take your temperatures. Can you come closer? 38.5 degrees Celsius, very high. You should stay in bed for the rest of the day. We'll take another look at you tomorrow and see if you need more first then. Do we have to? Doctor's orders. You're not leaving this clinic until you're feeling better. No, please. I did finish up my work. I was finally going to enjoy my free time. Uh-huh. 
Hey, one clan is small, bit of food poisoning. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I found Ellen on the back and hold back her hair. <laughs> Master. Playing it better. I'm gonna make extra sure my free time doesn't go to waste. I gotta play to the gods of fire power. No. I mean, why the power? <laughs> uh oh. Seeing their own vomit makes me feel queasy myself. <laughs> oh, those two are so smart, aren't they? The next day. Neon and I observe the daily routine of the clinic while we're bed of it. Oh, baby, look at that right there. Nice. Me Pepper, can you prepare some fluids for our patients? Wait away. We'll give you both some water from my icebox. If you have food poisoning, you have to be sure to stay hydrated. Thank you for this. Yeah, thanks. It's not a problem. Just don't let me see you come back with the same ailments. Space. Yes, we have beds available. What seems to be the issue? Hammock. Well. Head bumped. Let's take a look. I don't see any major issues. Admitted. Can I? You just want to be admitted for some type of injury so you can sleep. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid there aren't any beds in this clinic for malinger malingerers. I would suggest you go back and reinstall a better hammock. I sprained my foot while out searching. My mobility is a bit limited. Do you have any replacement parts? But Abby, you shouldn't be so blasé about having parts replaced. If you always think every problem can be resolved just by switching out for new parts, then you won't take proper care of yourself. Okay. Why don't you lie down first? We'll try everything we can to see whether you can keep your original part. If that doesn't work, then we'll replace it. Sound good? Okay. Poppy lays down on the bed. Hey, <laughs> finally, it's a new company. Do you think we should put her to work? Tell her to bring us two sodas from the icebox. <laughs> I won't be using Rappi like this, how dare you? We've been cooped up in here all day and can't even enjoy a vacation properly. What's the harm in having a little fun? You shouldn't tease someone when they're sick. I know, I just wanted to do it because it's Rappi. Anyways, this island is so peaceful. Way more than the rest of the surface, so I thought for sure the clinic would be empty. Turns out Mary barely has any time to rest with all the people coming in and out. You're right. It was a bit better when Pepper was here during the day. Just by seeing Pepper have a chance to relax, my heart feels at ease. With the these words, Mary let Pepper go. Unfortunately, it was only after Pepper left that I it really got busy. Hmm. Kind of makes you a bit sad, doesn't it? She may seem like a superhero, but underneath all that, there's still a person. It's nice to see someone else feels the way I do. Who's that? It's me. <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't rest thinking about how hard Mary must be working. I was watching the whole thing from a distance. Mary is so kind and skilled. She's like an angel. Especially when it comes to her devotion to her patients. No one can beat her. But she's only one person. She always takes care of others, even when it's her to her own detriment. My thoughts exactly. Really? It's always bummed me out. So, with that being said, can I possibly ask you two for a favor? 
I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Even if I have to scrounge up credits for some nutrium. Hmm. Don't worry about compensation. This clink has already done so much for us. Zyde, I think I already know what you're going to ask. Thank you. Then, Pepper Edge is closer to us. Pepper, what are you doing over there? Uh oh, Mary's coming this way. About the way I just told you, I'm leaving it in your hand, Commander. I'll oversee the clinic, so don't worry about that. Just leave it to me. Pepper, have you ever told this to Mary yourself? She's always looking after you. So I'm sure she'd be willing to listen to you about something like this. I have. But she always pretends not to hear me. Maybe it's because it's coming from someone from the same line of work. I'm not sure what she is thinking. Pepper, I told you to go and rest. Why are you here? Oh, eh? I thought I could be of some help. <laughs> if you don't get out of here right this instant, I really will find some work for you to do. Seeing I work for me, I'll do it. Hey, <laughs> you're incorrigible sometimes. Very well. You can help me clean up the clinic later tonight. Three, two, one. Action! I turn on the phone and play some summer music. You got me thinking of the ocean. Mister, I'm gonna touch the ball. Go ahead. Be sure to catch it. Magical water tires. <coughs> you don't have to throw it so hard. Huh? What was that? I said your throw is so weak. I run towards the ball, pick it up out of the sand, and walk towards the clinic. Up. Oh no, whatever should I do? The ball landed right near the clinic. If only some kindly doctor would pick up the ball for me. I'll throw it back here. Well, I didn't know we had a secret volleyball master in our midst. Why don't you join us? Sorry, but there's a patient inside. I'm gonna touch the ball. Eh? Uh -huh. Oh well, then it shouldn't be a problem. Peppa can play beach volleyball with the two of you. What? You all have fun and I'll stay and watch the clinic. Uh. Mission failed. We should have known that plan wouldn't work. It was way too simple. We should proceed with my method. Okay, look, I'll take one for the team. Oh, come on, I'll coax Mary, you know, to go have some fun together. Obviously, that would probably work. Maybe. If I tell her that, you know, I have some pain, you know, in a certain area, she might end up taking a look, and then we can have some real fun, right? That'll get her, you know, to relax a little bit. <laughs> Hydro power transfer to magazine complete. The weather is good and the agent is feeling too good. What the latest with that extra squirt gun I asked for? I planted it in the clinic. Good. Once I blast a target with this, she'll be so angry that she'll end up shooting back with the other gun. Before you know it, she'll be enjoying herself and having a wet and wild water gun fight with me. Eh, we could have a wet and wild time, but I would prefer not to use the water gun. Will I stop anytime soon with the, with this? Probably not. This will probably continue on into the next summer event if we get one. I'm having fun. <laughs> Alright, Agent B is off. Neon sprints, neon sprints across the sand towards the clinic. What in power? Bing bang. Um, aren't you going to attack back? 
If you don't take it, it just looks like I'm picking on you. Sorry, what was that? I didn't hear you. Huh? Eh? Are you watering down the clinic because it's getting overheated? How thoughtful of you. How did you know? I was just about to drink some ice water. <laughs> but you're soaked. That's okay. I'm already in my swimsuit anyway. I'll dry off soon enough. Was well, there anything else you guys need me for? If not, I should go back and organize clinic supplies. Second attempt. Failed. I say we go for an all-out assault. What do you mean? I'm sure you've seen all those pretty shells on the beach. We can collect some, put them in a bottle, and use them to decorate the clinic. I'm sure Mary will be happy with that, as it'll please the patients. That just might work. I think so. Best of all, it's already sunset, so there won't be many patients. This is gonna work. I can feel it in my bones. Good, let's try it. Shell, shell, shell. I found one. Check this out, Master. Doesn't this look like an M32? Never thought I'd see a shell resembling a rifle. It actually does, yes. <laughs> it's just as I thought. The gods of fire. Uh, I mean, water power also resides on the beaches. Anywho, how many did you find? Well... A show nail on the shells I've picked up. Hmm, I'm not quite sure how to say this. They're not pretty, and they're not especially ugly. They're just a little... Clean, that's all. I think so, too. Here, yeah, we can combine them with mine. Now one pours a fistful of the shell she picked into my palm. Amongst the variety... Vari variegated shells... There are also small pebbles that cling together every time they collide with one another. There's also a spiral-shaped white cotton shell. Why didn't you collect all of these? When we started about 10 minutes ago. Okay, that may be a slight exaggeration. To be honest, I've been collecting since this afternoon. I figured that since we've been separated from monies for so long, she must be feeling pretty down in the dumps. So I wanted to surprise her with these when we m meet again. You're a good friend. Always have been. I gently run my fingers through Naon's hair, who is beaming with pride. Eh <laughs> Well, since my collection appears to be in such high demand, I better get more, one more round in before the sun sets. Naon rushes towards the sea excitedly. Maybe I should cut loose and enjoy myself. No, I've got work to do. Mary, I'm here. Peppa, why aren't you out enjoying your time off? I promise you before I didn't die, I'm going to help you clean up. Oh, that? I wasn't actually going to hold you to that. Well, since you're here, can you gather up all the bedding and put it in one place? Sure thing. Is there anything else? Did you hear that? What is that? Hmm. Do you think there are some squirrels nearby dropping acorns? You did it again. What are these pebbles doing here? <clears throat> Who could have done this? Hold on a sec. Here's a glass bottle. I'm not sure exactly what is going on, but this is really pretty. It's like the sea itself is contained within this bottle. Peppa, could you give me a moment? I'm not sure why they've given me this gift. I think I need to have a talk with them. Oh, sure. Of course. I'll just take a walk in the area so 
let me know when you're done. You can both come out now. I knew it would be you two. How? How could I not? You two have been butting into my affairs since this morning. Mary picks up the glass bottle full of shells and pebbles. So what exactly is the meaning behind this? Isn't it really pretty? Come again. You see all those shells inside the bottle? Aren't they pretty? They certainly are. Don't you think it could lift the spirits of any patients in here? I'm sure it will. But there are a lot of bed stands and tables here. You're not sure we can make enough glass bottles for all of them. However, I think if a certain doctor lent a helping hand, we just might be able to do it. No. First, we can gather it up in enough empty bottles. Then we can pour what's in this one bottle evenly into the rest of the empty bottles. Then add some sand and sea water so that they don't look empty. Hey, that's a great idea. How did you come up with that so quickly? Why are you two doing this? You've been pestering me all day to leave the clinic. Despite you knowing perfectly well how I feel about that. Did Pepper put you up to this? Um, well... Yes. Wow, just straight up outing her? That's not what's important. We've wanted to hang out with you well before that. Why? Uh, we like you. You do? You're like our guardian angel. Isn't that right, Master? Absolutely, we owe you so much. Is that so? Well, I'm very grateful. You're both lovely people. But as I mentioned before, I can't leave the clinic. An accident could occur at any moment, and... If a doctor isn't present, the patient will. Huh? Don't worry about that. That's what I'm here for. Papa, I thought you went for a walk. I didn't. I was too upset to. At Repair Center, you've never taken a single day off. And now, even though we are at this gorgeous deserted island, you're still intent on remaining in the clinic. Pepper, I... One day. For just one day, consider yourself on vacation. I always thought of you as a role model, but... What if I think of the fact that if I ever end up getting into your position, I may end up working 365 days a year without any rest. My future feels so bleak. Oh, you mustn't be so concerned. Even a doctor with my seniority can always take breaks. You see, you said it yourself. What? You said it. Even in your position, you can always take time to rest. As a bonus, we'll help you enjoy your vacation as much as possible. That's our forte. Except, you know, when we get food poisoning. Huh. <sighs> I suppose I can't win. Commander, Neon, and Pepper. Very well, I'll enjoy my vacation. But just for one day. I'll leave the clinic to Pepper for just one day. After this, though... I don't want you asking me for any more favors, okay? Woohoo! We did it! Pepper rushes over and squeezes Mary tight. Group punk. Oh, so I get the front? Oh boy. My face is gonna be, um... Yeah, um... <laughs> Neon follows Pepper's lead and hugs Mary. Stand back and look at the three of them. <laughs> now, I could let the girls just be the girls and, you know, stand back and watch them. Then they'll probably call me over and do it anyways. Or I could run over, you know, and then my face would be implanted in, you know, a dreamland. <laughs> Following everyone else's lead, I rush over. 
Unfortunately, there's no space due to the girls taking up all the available space. Dang it! You know what? In order to get the most out of your vacation, you'll have to wake up early. Since we're by the ocean, and we can't go without taking in a sun sunrise. Okay, does 5 a.m. sound good? That works. I can hear the waking up early for one day. Are you sure? Don't push yourself too hard for my sake. I've got you to take a vacation. Compared to that, waking up early is nothing. Can we maybe catch the sunset instead? What? You said you were going to teach Mary how to enjoy her vacation. No, I didn't. That was Master. <laughs> Dot. Before Operation Vacation begins, we all decide to confirm the progress of our individual tasks. I'll wait everyone reported. The device installation is complete. With Greenhorn's help, we confirm that the devices are all fully operational. Through the use of this said device, you discovered the deposits of methane hydrate in these waters. This for rapture distribution in the water. Initial reports are showing zero. The sea may well be the answer to the York's resource problem. So any mining operations conducted there can be done in complete safety. I'll go next. Our searches around the island have turned up a mineral mine in the 10 o'clock direction of us. However, it appears that the minerals found there consist primarily of copper and silver rather than gold. We'll have to examine the components of the samples we took to be certain. We have Volt to thank for that. I give Volt who is looking very proud of himself a pat on the head. We also searched the houses around the harbor, but were unable to turn up any useful information. Proceeding northward through the Palm Grove, however, we found records stating that there was a seaside hotel. We intend to head there tomorrow to continue our research. Great job. It's weird hearing that come. It's weird hearing that comes from you, Freema. Hmm. Neon and I were searching for food supplies to take to the ark, and there was this weird-looking grain. It wasn't corn, and it wasn't rice. It seems to be a new strain that only came into being after the raptures appeared. The taste was similar to coin, though. True. Anyways, since it was growing in a humid climate, there's a high probability it'd be conducive to harvesting in the ark. It could be worth taking a few samples to the Department of Planet Control. We'll be sure to take a few seeds with us on our way back. We already packed a bunch of them. You are planning on reporting them all to the department, right? What, you think I plan on keeping some for myself? If there's any chance to sell something, you'll take it. You all need to have more faith in me. <sighs> As for us, Seraphim doesn't have to report it. What? Everyone knows perfectly well what you two have been doing. Pretty much all of us had to pay a visit to the clinic for one reason or another. Alright, the next stop. Where's that light coming from? Hey everyone, check it out. It's time for the sunrise. Well, just when our reports were finished, do you think the sun was waiting for us? Let's hurry outside. Yeah. Wow. Sunrises are just like sunsets in reverse. With sunrises, there's a feeling of hope since the sun is coming out. Very poetic way of putting it, Greenhorn. Hey, Mary, is it nice seeing this together as a group? Yes, I've seen this view a couple of times already from the clinic. But seeing it with you all is... How should I put it? I feel that this is a memory that I should have hold fast to and treasure. I agree. I don't. We're only just starting to create memories for you. 
Neon dumps a bucket of water on Mary. Ah, memories begin and end with strong emotions. To me, that's the true meaning of a good vacation and one I wanted to share with you. You're just going to let her get away with that, Mary. But, if you play around in the water too aggressively, someone might get... <laughs> Is she gonna open her eyes? Fine. I did promise myself that I would have fun today. So if I don't make you all happy, I'll fight back. Huh? Why are you splashing me? Whoops, sorry. I just wanted you to be a part of the fun. If that's what you want. Huh? Time out, time out, I in water. <laughs> Do you mean we <laughs> water got in your eyes? No. My glasses fell into the water. I rolled by a bunch of glasses back to for you now. What a good little doggy. Thanks a bunch. A blind is a battle without my glasses. So that means we can start again. My turn. Ah. Well. How come you're drenched from just one splash, Commander? Not sure, but it seems that everyone set their sights on the Commander. Look, girls, there's no need to make me wet, okay? I'm supposed to be doing that. This is unfair! Then I'll balance out the scales. Yikes! No, Pepper's as soaked as you are, Master. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. Isn't punishing a bit dangerous? What do you mean? Look how soft the sand is. I've walked this beach up and down countless times, and there aren't any rocks in sight. Here, feel for yourself how soft it is. Papa, wait. Um. Ah. Eh? <laughs> you weren't lying. The sand is super soft. Wait, I feel something in my hand. A pebble. Is this what Commander and Neon were collecting yesterday? It's really pretty. Pepper, are you listening? What's wrong? You've gone quiet all of a sudden. Gah. I knew it! This was not gonna last! What the hell? Um... Are there certain brave brain wave... Are there certain electromagnetic waves going out that are affect that's affecting Pepper right now? You guys, I, know, I all of a sudden feel like I don't want to be on an island with five extremely hot Nikkeis right now. This might become a, a, uh, a, uh, psychopathic murder, uh, a sl a slashing movie? Um. Um. How could you? Selling a patience. Say something. Huh? Uh huh? Pepper, are you okay? I trusted you. I trusted. You hypocrite. Uh -huh. Blue Water Island. To be continued? All records have been played. Thanks for telling me that. Well, this is definitely going to be a two-parter, ironically enough, for just the first part of the event. An hour 33 minutes, basically an hour 34. Well, um, yeah. Why do I all of a sudden feel a bit scared to be on the island? <laughs> now, currently it's only affected Pepper. 
like, did Peppa somehow remember something from her past and that's why she had that look? Like, um... What the hell is gonna be going on in this summer event? Because again, it's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows, that's for sure. Especially after what we just saw. I had fun. Obviously, probably way too much. There's way too many innuendos that we can make in uh, this right now. But yes, Pepper. Oh boy, she's got those crazy eyes now. Kind of scared. In a different circumstance, some people could, you know, really get have some real nice fun with that look. If, you know, uh, they wanted to take the risk of dying to, you know, have some fun with Peppa when she's looking like that. But yes, this is uh, what the event looks like. It's pretty neat. Um, I will say though, hold on. Can I get some dice? Yes, I said dice. Anyone remember a certain hero's, you know, <gasps> little mini event? Anyone remember that? Because yes, it's back. In full force, and I do not like it. I did not like the dice game, mainly because my luck was crap, and I kept getting onto the bad spaces. Let's just say, I've only done two searches. This should be three. Should. Good doggy. And this, I'm assuming, is what Rapi and Volt were doing. So obviously, if you want to see uh, how they came about certain things, you would do this. See, I've done three so far. We're almost halfway to four. Can you show me, like, uh, the, the rewards? Yes, down here. So, what do we get? Each one is 100 gems. Well, actually, once you get to the sixth search, it then becomes 100 gems. And the final one is w one box. Are you kidding me? One box? Of a one hour cord dust. Well. Oh, that's repeated rewards after the 10th time. Okay. So all in all, 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 750 gems. I mean, arguably it's not bad. But I tell you, every freaking time it annoys the hell out of me. And I mean, we are getting some, you know... Yeah, what are these called again? Skill manuals. It's fine. Kind of. So yeah, hopefully I can get all 750 gems. If I can't, I'm gonna cry. I might. Just saying. So either way, with that, I'm going to be ending the first part, the first story here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. We'll be picking up in the second story, where Pepper has those crazy look, that crazy look in her eyes. I guess we won't be having some fun in the sun with Maddie after all. Cause Pepper's going crazy. Ooh, piece of candy. Isa, you come. And then who knows? Maybe some of the other girls will start going crazy as well, and I gotta run away. You know, in fear. Now, could it be a very bad situation where it actually does become like a murder mystery type of a, an event? Where the m more and more girls start trying to either kill each other or try to kill us? 
Who knows? For all I know, it could literally not be anything like that. And it could just be trauma of her pushing her down. And, you know, the fact that there was something there that could possibly have hurt her. And, uh... That did something to her? I don't know. I'm not gonna try to guess any further. But either way... It's pretty nice. Again, seeing the girls in the swimsuits? Very nice. When am I gonna be able to get Peppa's outfit? It's number 10 and I'm on 6. After today's stuff, I'll be on 7. So I'll probably get her outfit about 2 days after... The second part comes out. Which, arguably speaking, shouldn't Neon be, uh... Coming out soon? When does her banner come out? Oh, she comes out on the 22nd, okay. I'm assuming the 22nd then is when the, uh... Second part of the event comes out. Alright, see ya. Till then, I will see you guys later. Wait, 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 Mary, what are you saying? Pepper. I shouldn't have held any expectations about memories and all that. Yo, Pepper, are you are you doing good? Hi. かしこまりました. Pepper, are you do are you are you okay? Pepper's no longer saying anything right now. That's kind of worrying. But yeah, apparently I also missed like the the map changing in the uh, Dorothy event. I wasn't fully paying attention to it. That it did change all the time? It's very interesting. But you know, Pepper's gone completely silent. It's kind of scary. Pepper, are you really alright? Thank you, Naon, for saying something. Where's Rappi in all this? Yo, Rappi, are you gonna say something? No? Yeah? No? Alright. So yeah, now I'll see you guys later. Huh? I just figured I'd show Kashikomarimashita. what Mary and Naon were saying. Things about to be crazy.